Hey Trail Riders, welcome back to the Daily Ride. I hope you guys are doing well. Today the scriptures that get us through the Bible in a year are 2 Samuel 23, 8 through 24, 25, Psalm 71, 1 through 8, Proverbs 15, 18 and 19, and John 13, 12 through 38. Today we're going to be talking about our code is a character. John 13, 34 will be our focal passage. It says, I give a new command to you, love one another just as I have loved you, you must also love one another. What other teacher has taken the Ten Commandments and had the right to replace it with another commandment? But this is precisely what Jesus did. As we see in our text today, I give you a new commandment, he says, love one another just as I have loved you, you must love one another. The Old Testament and other religious writings enjoined loving one another. What the new was this, as I have loved you. Our Lord's conduct, as I have loved you, produced a new code for the human race. Paul, writing to the Philippians, catches the spirit of it when he says, treat one another with the same spirit as you experience in Christ Jesus. As it tells us in Philippians chapter 2, verse 5, and this is Moffat's version. Here, morality reaches a high watermark. For the moment Jesus uttered the words that are occupying our attention, they came into human life something more than a code. They became a character. Now, therefore, our code is a character, the character of Jesus. When someone asks me if I believe the Ten Commandments, I say yes. And and very much more besides. I believe in Jesus. The Ten Commandments are, a, are an injunction and a God-given one. But Jesus is an injunction plus an inspiration. To, allow, to follow an injunction is to obey opposed morality. But to follow a person and do the things that he does is an inspired morality. One is legalism, the other is love. One binds you and one frees you. One makes you feel trampled, the other relaxed and spontaneous. Our code is not a commandment but a character. One greater than the commandments is here, and his name is Jesus. So let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, your law lays upon me as an injunction but your life entering into my life inspires me to live up to that injunction. It is that this that makes your yoke so easy. And Father, we are deeply, deeply grateful. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey guys, for further study on this, look at John 15, 1-17, James 2, 8, and Matthew 7, 12, and keep these two questions in mind. What was the basis of Christ's love? And two, what was the basis of our being able to fulfill the royal law? God bless you guys. I hope you'll continually follow me here on the Daily Ride, and I'll see you on the next trail ride.